Hello everyone! Welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 266 of Fallout 4, the zombie modified gameplay, and we are aboard, aboard the Pridwin. And so our next, our current mission is talk to four people. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Okay, that's, uh, this is... Is this it? Nope, that's not it, that's red. Uh, Bay 3. There's no time to waste, and there's work to be is, I guess this is it, right? Does it say three? This one will be red also, right? Yeah, see it's red? Okay. Uh, okay, we need all these tools here. So we'll just pick it, them up. <laughs> okay, okay. So we need to work on this power armor, right? Maxon might appear compassionate, but I can assure you, the Institute will face his wrath. Wait, is this the one we're, we're talking about here? Okay, and then, wait, why is, wow, legendary slot. Hail Knight. Agile. Oh, legendary microchip. What does it do? Oh, plus one agility. Active. Plus five action points. Almost some. Oh, oh, quadruples. What? What is? What is needed? Uh, almost some breakup. Quadruples durability. Wait. Uh. Oh, from health of 185, which is the standard. To five fifteen. Wow, assassins uh, almost unbreakable. Assassin is what uh, minus fifteen damage taken from humans. Um, no. Atoms bulwark fifteen percent damage and energy when rad damage taken increased by five per hundred rads. Additional two damage. Atoms devoted. Ooh. Radiation resistant doubled for every hundred rads. Starting with plus five, become immune to radiation when at or above five of nine hundred rads. The Commonwealth's so a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. That's interesting. Like it's like if it was up to me, I'd take every feral mutian synth. 
and shoot them into space. Like radiation resistance doubled every hundred rads. So right now we have 150 rads become immune to radiation when at or above 900. So that's 150 leg, two legs is 300, two arms is uh, 600. Wow, we can be, we can be there very quickly. And if we increase like like our millet, no, not lead. So from 150 goes to 250. So we can be immune very fast. Ooh. Right? Wait, is this? No, no, no. We're 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 not talking about this one. This This is BOS, Brotherhood of Steel, man. This is Okay, it's a model B. Let's do a model F. And it is a Brotherhood Brotherhood of Steel increases strength with all pieces painted. Uh huh. With all pieces painted, but how much is the increase in strength? Uh, let's you know. Let's just keep that. No miscellaneous targeting HUD. Uh, highlights living targets. That's what we have in our internal. In our helmet, VATS matrix increased hit chance. Until their life. Uh, removes radiation, consume, consume food, recon sensor, sensor array. No, let's have the VATS matrix. It increases uh, VATS uh, hit chance. Headlamps, legendary slot. Uh, the option adds another attachment point at holds what the human looking sense are the worst they hide almost unbreakable we need legendary microchip we don't have those okay these are the ones we need to change the be uh, brotherhood of steel Core assembly increases action point refresh speed. Medic pump. A stealth boy. Oh, that's for the uh, torso. Helmet is also F. Left leg, oh, right arm is still, oh, is still B. You know those synths with the plastic faces? They creep Left the leg. Out. And final piece are the arms. Left arm. We better get a move on on the uh, crafting those higher level circuits. F F F F. I'd be the F. first one to kick them open. F. Uh huh. We want this servo assist Tesla coils. I think we're finding uh, 
Reactive plates. Reflects 50% of melee damage. Stealth boy. Okay, let's exit now. See, it's uh, checking F. F, 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 F. Okay. And they're all B.O. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel. So we can put that on. But before we do that, let us... Uh, This is armor. This is Yeah, let's let's wear that. Oh, we need to talk to Tegan also, right? Uh, Tegan is right behind here. Sick. Can't talk right now. Tegan, got to clean Step the wire scat off my boots. Even though they locked me in this blasted cage. Uh huh. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place. Okay, good to know. So, okay, uh... Wait, do I... buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Okay, okay, sounds good, sounds I good. Use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match. It just involves a little bit of... And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I... After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Cool. Okay, completed. Uh, Tegan. Tegan. And then there are those two guys over here that we met before, right? a laser rifle and my power armor. I'll take on the world. Yeah. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Uh... There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please... Answer honestly. 
Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? No, never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Okay, then we go to the other guy here. This is... Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books... Uh-huh. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. <laughs> Which books contain pertinent information? Technical volumes, repair manuals, design philosophies. That's why I consider everything else. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh, meeting the crew, learning my way around. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the... Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. I'm woefully behind... Sure. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the... Per Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Okay. Um... How come this guy didn't give us any technical... Oh, okay, can we get medicine here? Feel yeah. Good. To be a part of something as important as the Brotherhood. Cade. Good to see you again, Knight. Anything I can do to help? Uh... Could use some supplies, actually. Scribes have been stocking us up. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, we want a Radaways. Or Rad X. Actually, blood packs are rare. Wow. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Yeah, I think we're carrying too many items on us. Okay, that's the last one. <laughs> Yeah, let's just pay him. Uh, we owe six hundred ninety four.
whoa, too much, too much, too much. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, each vendor carries so little money, right? So, anyway... I'd just leave that if I were you. What's that for? And then we just need to meet up with the captain. I think let's go pick up our suit. Our vertebrates should give us the air superiority we need to win this war. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. We should stock up on supplies before we begin our next mission. something I thought we did right didn't we but that was before uh, okay let us check on nope 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 let's check on our mission I thought we did meet with uh, talk to the Brotherhood get help to build the signal. Complete delivery of the egg or return the egg to its nest. Return to chase. Nope. Oh, open our personal your personal storage. Okay. Where is our personal storage? Uh Where's our personal storage? Uh, you know uh, where the sleeping quarters are? You need some patching up. You see Night Captain Pig. See one of these? Because this is station number three. Okay, yeah, there's station bay number three. Or does it say our personal storage? Not that one. I guess it's this one, right? Because. At Victorium, sister. Yeah, there are no other, how about this, this, right? No, it doesn't say your personal storage. It should say that, but, uh, okay, will Tegan talk to us now? 
or you'll end up eating some pretty questionable things to stay alive. What brings you to me today? Set me up. Sure, I've got. Let's see what uh, specific or special items he has. Nope. Oh, Commander Chess Piece. Uh, what does it do? Uh, plus five action points, regenerate two damage and energy. Oh, oh. Oh, plus five point regeneration. Oh, okay. And uh, 10 plus VATS cost. do we pay him with um, inventory let's go to the gun section those to pay him uh, maximize focus laser pistol glow sighted hardened combat rifle sniper rifle I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye.